All right, so we're going to get started here. And this is going to be a best of five, just yeah. like our last set. Winner semis, top eight, best of five. Two, one, so it'll be interesting go. to see how this one uh, plays out. Okay, going for the, the grab immediately off the bat. I mean, obviously, like, holding shield against Bayonetta in the neutral, like, you kind of have mm -hmm. to, just because, like, her burst options are a lot more threatening. Yep, I feel that. And now Duck's going to come in here, try to use that dash attack. And that was a great up tilt to break up the heel side before he even got started. Yeah, the biggest advantage that Fox really has is uh, it's just his frame data in that mm -hmm. close range. So kind of exploiting that, in that situation. Nice dash attack. And up here, trying to get one more. Ooh. Oh, trying to get these uh, th that Fox Vortex going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. OK. Yep. Duck, yeah, Duck's correctly DI's down to avoid the, uh, the mm -hmm. fair follow-ups. That was really smart from Ducks, and he's got himself a nice lead. Ooh, went for the up smash, but mm -hmm. uh, there's no hard commitment on that heel slide, with uh, at least not with the like the, the double kick at the end. Right. Okay. But we do need to see how Ryoku's gonna bring these percents back into check. I mean, he might need, not even need to bring the percents back into check. He just might need to hit him to, to take That's the shot. That's true. Yeah, Duck's definitely kind of mixing up, like, whether or not he's playing aggressively or defensively. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be... Okay. Ooh! You hear the dreadful, yeah. too. All right, just going to finish it off with an up air, but not going to take the stock. Definitely not near the blast zone. Still some good percentage, mm -hmm. which is going to make a witch time very... Uh, it's very threatening Very at this fatal, point. yes. Uh-oh. Scooping him up. You should be fine here, yeah. Just barely, though. Yeah. Ooh, that was a great air dodge. Knowing that Ryoku have it, that he's pretty much famous for the, the Abner kicks. Oh, yeah. Duck's definitely looking for these back airs with the ledge, but mm -hmm. uh, Ryoku's managing to evade him. Duck's just empty hopping and throwing out bears, just trying to put on some pressure on this Bayonetta. He's going to be very aware of the presence of Witch Time. Ooh. Oh, oh wow. I like that. Using the Nair mm -hmm. instead of like trying to air dodge the, the up air again. Mm -hmm. Just instead of keeping himself in a bad situation. Got what? him out. Yeah. Oh, and that fourth throw is going to do it. But he's at 172, so all he needs is one nice connection. I mean, that might be all Ryoku needs, too. Oh. This is going to be a Up huge tilt, punish. Yeah. All right, doesn't get the... Uh, that's, Still, not, that's a big punish. Yeah, and this isn't very good for Fox, either, because he mm -hmm. is not able to find this KO. 62% on him, too. The Nair? Oof. 204 though, so. Yeah, it's. I don't think I've seen a Nair kill like that in quite a while. It's been a, it's been a hot minute for me. All right, but Fox can definitely make this back with a, mm -hmm. a couple strings, but he's gonna have to like. Oh, oh you're nice, dead. Nice yep. timing there for Ryoku. Got the down tilt in there to make sure that he didn't clank out with any lingering hitbox. Yep. Yeah, because that uh, that up smash is kind of like it's got like item priority, doesn't it? It's low priority. Yeah. Uh, or however priority works in this game. You know, I think it, I think weird. it's just low. Like it was just like normal and and low. I don't know if there's certain moves with higher priority. I don't know. It's it's weird. I know that the smash attacks are bad because they clank out with a lot of moves. Which means they're low priority. I thought they were like Luma, where yeah, it was an item priority. So like I thought any hitbox would clash with it. Yeah, something like that. I believe so. Anyway, uh, Duck's we got, got that, Duck shooting lasers. Yeah, he's got that clean one percent. I can't even shoot in a ducking. No. This is this is kind of this, this is kind of inappropriate. Fun. Good set right here, quality. I mean, you know, ducks is winning, so mm -hmm. we can sit here for six minutes and talk about. But uh, we're not gonna sit here for six minutes. That's unrealistic. We can talk about Bayo's crouch animation. I don't want to. Okay. There we go. They're gonna play the game now. Okay. I guess we needed a uh, thirty-second timeout. These lasers definitely come in handy here for mm -hmm. uh, Ducks, but... I mean, he's playing this game. He's like, if you want to just crouch on the ground, I'll just keep my slim lead, and I'll extend upon it. And that's what he's doing right now. <laughs> Gonna get a grab, too. At the very least, I think it's frustrating, Ryoku. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That was a little, little greedy. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Ducks is uh, trying to mix up going in, but that's exactly what Ryoku wants. And mm -hmm. He's kind of getting a lot off it. Bayonetta, a very good defense character. Yeah. Her approaches are a little weaker, though. And that punish game is always super solid mm -hmm. with the uh, Witch Twist. And just like that, uh, Ryoka's finding himself in the lead. Yup. 
Are you scooping him up? I like how all that crouching nonsense means nothing at this point in time. Because they're playing fast enough where that time gone is not really going to matter. Yeah, just the damage that uh, Ryo was able to build up just off of, like, you know, the basic conversions. Mm -hmm. Really just kind of alleviates that problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell Dux is, like, looking for some kind of, uh, some kind of way in. Oh, no, no! no. You, we've seen this episode before! Yeah, dude! Got them uh, Saturday morning cartoons, but in the summer when there's reruns. Oh, yeah, come on. When are they going to make some new ones? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, ooh, that was nice. Uh, not going to kill. Ugh. Yeah, Ducks is definitely uh, getting a little... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's okay. no, fine. Uh, that's not a rerun I want to see. No. Not at all. I don't want to see any more illusions get witch timed into Ducks' death. That's sad. But it is good habit recognition from Ryoko. Yeah. You're you're illusioning into the stage so you can regain center stage and you're gonna die for it. Like it's conditioning him to not do that. And that forward smash quite a bit hasty. Oh. I, I can feel like Ducks is a little on tilt right now, but the, Ooh, speaking the up of tilt. tilts, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Alright, so once again Ducks finds himself on the back foot. He's gonna have to patiently find his way in. Gets a jab, only 9%. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what we saw in game one as uh, Ducks lost his first stock. I feel like one of the bigger things is that Ducks is afraid to push its advantage mm -hmm. in this matchup, which is just like a, a really important part of Fox's gameplay. And then a as a result, like it kind of gives Abner the space, or uh, Ryoku the space to work with. And Doc's doing a good job. He's uh, brought back quite a bit of the uh, the ground that he lost. Uh-oh. Oh! Yep, no tech. Yeah, no tech. Unfortunate. Yeah, definitely definitely kind of drilled, <laughs> drilled mm -hmm. his uh, heel into that one. Yeah. And you're right on top of the stage. That's a, a pretty darn hard Yeah, it's either hard hit. or possibly even uh, yeah. untackable. It can always be a hard call to make if that one's even techable, but... Mm -hmm. Duck's definitely considering his options here. Mm -hmm. He's down 2-0. Uh, he plays some Bowser. I don't think that'll be the call, but he does have a... He plays Dr. Mario, too. I don't know <laughs> if that's the call, either. I don't know, man. What do you what do you think the, the Bowser bail? You mean Bowser. I do, but I think you have to, like... You have to approach the matchup from like a Bowser mains perspective. You, you can't have like a Bowser secondary as a, as a Bayo okay. counter. So you can't just spam grab and win. Definitely not. Because that's like the most of the Bowser secondaries. That's what they're doing. They're just we have an awesome grab and that's what we're doing. So he's gonna go Fox again. But they're gonna start right off instead of doing the the crouching laser thing. Yeah, at the very least, uh, Ducks like took that time to just kind of recompose himself. Mm -hmm. If not consider like character switch, at least like think, okay, all right, let me let me reevaluate the situation. <laughs> and the jabs coming out here, that's a clean like 20-ish percent. Yeah. Just out spacing with these back airs too. Oh, that was a witch time attempt. Yeah, not quite coming out. Yeah, missed time at that time, but uh, Ducks has got to keep that in mind. Like, mm -hmm. He can't just uh, do that for free. Ooh. Interestingly, Ooh. he couldn't grab the ledge because he got clipped by right. those bullets. So that's why he was able to get mm -hmm. that. And now he finds himself on his uh, winner's stock. Is Ryoko going to be able to advance to winner's finals here? And the dash attack, I'm trying to find the up air, not gonna find it. And the bats within. Back here though. Ryoko's gonna make it back there yeah. for sure. Oh, okay. Dead, well, though. You know, yeah, I mean like the threat of the re-grab was there, mm -hmm. and uh like Ryoko was doing his best to try to like throw out hitboxes, but it kinda was his downfall because he ended up using all his resources. The quick laser. All these quick lasers, but mm -hmm. that one's gonna get punished. Getting a little bit too hasty on that. Yep, maybe just a few, uh, a few too many lasers. There we go. All right, thankfully the Nair sending him back on stage instead of off, giving him uh, another chance. Okay. Up tilts. Yeah, we 
Ryoko looking for that grab, but ends up getting grabbed himself. All right, he's still on him, though. That was a good chase. And is this going to uh -oh. take him is off the top? Do it? Yeah. yeah. Ends up blinking all the hits into that up air on mm -hmm. the top of Town and City. No hope of survival there for Fox. No, none, none whatsoever. So Ryoko going to advance into winner's finals, fight Maloney. Yeah. And I'm guessing we'll get some losers action. Yeah, definitely an outcome that not a lot of people were expecting.